Hey everyone, my name is Root, and we are here. This is going to be week number one of the PGLD Pokemon Global League. And we were here for last season, and uh, we didn't do too great. We started off 0 4. Hopefully, uh, the same thing won't happen this time. But uh, we are here again, and look, I'm not going to pretend like I didn't build this team in like half an hour, but you know what? We're here. We're going to do whatever the heck we can. We have some crazy time difference. We are up against an Australian player uh, who does have an Infernape. Greninja, which is my ICBA core, and I was super mad about it. We were going to battle Johnny GB, but he unfortunately had a drop, and uh, he took over the team. He took over a very, very strong team, as you can see, with all those. So, the Tapu Koko, Necrozma, Al uh, Alolan Persian, and the Mega Scizor. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, first of all, what does that mean for me? Uh, no Doug Trio, which uh, Doug Trio couldn't trap, so that was interesting. No Flygon. No Piloswine, which is wild, no Rotom Mo, and no Vaporeon. So, a lot of my techs with my Araquanid is, uh, for that Vaporeon is not going to uh, come into play. However, uh, I kind of just want to lead off with my Victini. Both my Victini and my um, Superior are Scarfed. But I wouldn't mind just leading off with my... Victini just try to scout out a little bit and if I have to I can u-turn out um, I would kind of expect a necro I would kind of expect a necrozma rocks lead I could definitely see that and as as per usual nowadays I completely forgot to get that screenshot of his team but I will get that soon um yeah overall he has a very very scary team I prepared for a lot of the different things that I thought he would bring um, but I feel like it does lead off with the Infernape. Okay. So, if this thing is not Scarf, then we can get off a very, very free Psychic off. But I'm going to take a look at the bottom screen so that I can take a screenshot right now. Okay. Okay. Honestly, U-Turn is really free. Psychic is super free. He does have two Dark types, which is super unfortunate. Um, he might expect that. Uh, n not even trying to um, expect me to be Scarfed, but even if he does just expect me to be able to take a hit and then hit him back with Psychic, he could go into either of his two Dark types. Um, half of his team is weak to U-Turn, and I am a Max Attack Adamant U-Turn, I believe. Maybe I'm Jolly U-Turn. Uh, no, I'm Adamant U-Turn. Uh, I am Max Attack Adamant U-Turn. I feel like... I feel like he wouldn't want to stay in unless he just stays in for the Rocks lead, in which case he leaves himself open, wide open to a Psychic. Or, sorry, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a physical Victini this week. I do have a Zen Head, but I did also build a, a special Victini for Week 2, so super uh, behind the curtain. Uh, in a couple hours from now, I'm going to be playing my Week 2. They're both going to be played on the same day, so... Um, a whole lot going on right now. A whole lot going on. I do get the U-turn off. I wouldn't be surprised. I do I do immediately reveal Scarf, which is a bit unfortunate, but uh it does kind of suggest a does kind of suggest a I could have Zen headbutted, I think. Does Zen headbutt with KO? Like straight off the bat. Infernape. Zen headbutt could have KO'd. Um I kind of just want to go into my... Let me see something. If I go into my Sand Slash, I feel like Sand Slash is light enough where Grass Knot doesn't do a whole lot. Grass Knot does not do a whole lot. I'm going to go into my Sand Slash right now. I'm just going to try to get up some, some rocks. I feel like he's going to try to get us some rocks as well. No, just goes for the Flame Charge. Um, We can judge a lot based off of this damage. Yeah, I think I'm going to be able to pretty much take any hit that this thing would want to go for. I am a lot more specially defensive, but um, this thing does have a lot of natural special defense. Or sorry, a lot of natural defense. I kind of don't want to mess around with a flame charging Infernape. I just want to click knockoff. Yeah, it does withdraw. Okay, thankfully we do get to scare it out right away. It does go into this. But I'm just going to straight up get the EQ off. We're going to do some type of damage.
I wouldn't be surprised if this Necrozma is specially defensive. But let's just see. I did about 25-ish percent. Uh, assume max HP. Knockoff is actually going to do less, but uh, knocking off the leftovers is going to be a uh, pretty darn... Oh, just goes for knockoff itself. So we both knock each other off, and that will give me a free opportunity to set up rocks next turn. Uh, although he does uh, have the opportunity to heal back up with Moonlight and whatnot, yeah. Yeah, I'm not... Mm. So, okay, so far we've seen Knockoff, Stealth Rock. This could be super supportive. We've already seen um, a whole lot of at least max HP. So this is probably not going to be a big setup Necrozma. Probably has Moonlight as well. But at this point, I I should have clicked. I, I kind of clicked uh, way too quickly. I really should have just clicked um, Rapid Spin. I accidentally clicked Earthquake. So I guess that's a bit of a misclick. But um, if this does force... Mm, now he's going to want to take me out just to keep rocks up for the rest of the match. I don't quite remember, but I think my... Superior might have defog. Yeah, my superior does have defog, but it is scarf, so it's not going to be ideal if I do that. Um, I honestly just really want to go into. Yeah, I'm gonna go into. He has to photon guys in order to take my, um, in order to take my. Uh, sand slash out. So I kind of just want to go into my um, Drapion and just threaten knockoff on whatever wants to come in. Go, does go for the moonlight. So I could have gotten that very, very free rapid spin off. I could have gotten a rapid spin off, but um. I don't think knockoff is going to do as much as I really need it to, but yeah, it's not doing pretty much anything. We'll be able to knock off my salt vest. Hmm. I'm not quite sure yet how to break this Necrozma. Would it be worth it to make a switch here? Moon... So he doesn't have any moves that can really hit me other than knockoff, but that's going to be doing progressively less. Um, I could spam knockoff, but he can moonlight up. Hmm. If I could find an opportunity to go into my superior, then that would be pretty dope. Uh, let me see. If I get my superior in here... If I get my superior in here and this Necrozma is under half, then... I'm off to the races, to, uh, to a certain extent. And in fact... His only options for truly outspeeding my... Goes into the Persian? Yeah. His only real options for outspeeding my... My... Uh, scarfed superior would be a scarfed Coco or a scarfed um, Greninja. Let's go for a toxic. Expect me to switch out. But I'm in a position to wear this thing down, so I'm going to take that opportunity. If it's going to present itself to me. I feel like he would want to... Mm. He definitely wants to make the switch into Scizor here. Do I go for Fire Fang? Do I go for Fire Fang? I might. I th I'm going to. I'm going to. Goes for Foul Play. Okay. So I'm going to also reveal... Um, 
Fire Fang for no darn reason. But, uh, now, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna poison jab. If he makes a switch now, then that'd be super unfortunate, but it was for U turn. I think he goes into Scissor right now. I think straight up he goes into Scissor right now. This is this is going to be a long match. Uh, my superior can maybe win this match. I don't know these nicknames yet. No, goes into the Greninja. Poison Jab is going to do a decent amount of damage. Okay. I'm, I'm going to clip Poison Jab again. He's kind of letting his team get worn down a little bit. Um, not that it's the biggest deal in the world, but... Uh, This Greninja does go down for relatively free. I mean, um... Okay. Alright. We missed out on the roll, but we do get the poison. So, I'll, I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. These lights are making me look uh, pretty white. I I might um, up saturation, as I usually do in Premiere, but uh, I just feel like I look white. I don't know. Regardless, he's going to try to get a, a free flame charge off. He's going to try to get a free flame charge off. And I go into... I go into Araquanid. Well, no, he's going to take me out anyway, so it's not really worth the Araquanid damage, even though I do have Water Bubble, and, um... Yeah, after Rocks, it's not going to be worth the extra damage. He's probably going to have Stone Edge, though, which is going to suck. Um, I'm going to click Knock Off. Let's go for the Flame Charge. Nothing I could really do about that. And... Unfortunately, I don't have like any kind of hidden power that would work on Superior. I mean... That would work against this Infernape particularly well. I think I'll just go into this thing. Like I said, this thing could just go for Stone Edge. But uh, regardless... Um... I think I just have to click. I just, I just, have, to, I just have to click the button. Okay. Is that Z Stone Edge? It is Z Stone Edge. Okay. So if he's using it now, it means he can't use it against my Arachnid. I'm going to lose my Victini, which does a whole lot of work against his team, but I'm just going to have to put my Superior in a position where it can win. And pretty much what I, what I mean by that is. I need to, um, take out the Scizor. <sighs> He's gonna have to hit a Stone Edge against me. And... I don't know. This thing could beat me right now, in all honesty. Stone Edge. I have to just click Liquidation. If he wants to try this later in the match, he would put himself in a good position if he just switched out now and tried to Flame Charge later on in the match, because presumably I would have to take another round of Rocks, although he does risk me trying to get Zicky Webs up, which um would really hurt his team. I think Scizor might be the rub here. I might not be able to do much against the Scizor, which is ultimately super unfortunate. And, uh, this is one of those things that happens when you, um, like I said, build, build in about 30 minutes. Um, I didn't think about 
and not pointing synchro noise on my Jolteon to be able to hit the Tapu Koko a little bit harder. I would get boosted by the Electric Terrain, but ultimately I might not just be able to hit it that hard. Um, I don't know, maybe the Electric Terrain makes up for what Synchro Noise might do between Stab and Electric Terrain. It might make up for being resisted, and I might do just as much. He's definitely calking out. Yeah, he's calking out Stone Edge. Um, let's go into this. I feel like we might take this out. Yeah, we should... We should be able to take this out with Water Bubble. I'm not heavily invested into attack, and yeah. Okay, okay. Thankfully, we take this thing out. This Araquanid's going to be pretty darn important. I don't know what he would want to go into. He would go into the Coco. He would definitely go into the Coco. He would definitely want to go into the Coco. And then what do I respond with? Um, he has to be wary of the Jolteon, he has to be wary of the Sand Slash, and, I mean, Superior just in general. And all I need is a little bit more damage. I, at, at this point, I, I, need, I either need one of two things. I either need my Superior to go, go in at plus two, or the Infernape to get some more damage onto it. I think he's just gonna, yeah, I think he's just gonna try his luck and see what kind of damage he gets off on this. Although, I could get HP back with Leech Life. I gotta play the longer game. I'm gonna attempt to get some Sticky Webs up. I feel like we take a hit? I don't know. I don't know. We are close to max HP. We do take a hit. Okay. We get them webs up. That's going to help a whole lot against the Coco later and a whole lot against the, um, Inferni, definitely. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna click Leech Life. Hits Photon Geyser. And... What does that mean that I do now? I might... Hmm, let me see. I might go into this Jolteon here, right? Which would allow me to Volt Switch out. Because, like I said, I'm just looking for a little bit more damage onto this thing. If he stays in, and he would try to like, just go for Photon Geyser if he thinks he can take a hit. Um, it will let me Volt Switch into... Yeah, I don't care that I didn't take it out. And it'll let me sack this thing off. Oh, we actually take the knockoff. Okay. Would he want to make a switch here? I don't think so. He has no reason to make any switches here. I feel like there's really no reason for me to click Rapid Spin anymore. And in case he does do anything crazy and get knockoff might be better, although e EQ might also be better. I'm gonna click EQ. If you really want, yeah. Worst case scenario, um, he goes in a Coco trying to, like, get a free switch, I guess, but even then, uh, that's pretty unlikely. What that does let me do is go into my Superior. And. It's really going to depend on his Scizor's investment, but uh, if we get... I think we have to get to plus four. I think we have to get to plus four to, to do like any kind of sizable damage. Okay, that's going to be... A first KO. His Scizor can come in right now. And if it does... Um... Randy, it's probably the Scizor. No, it's the Coco. He, he doesn't think that I'm Scarfed. Which is, which is wild because... Oh, it doesn't matter if I'm Scarfed because of... Is this some, some kind of a bulky Coco? 
Assault Vest Coco? I'm gonna just do blanks at Coco, and how much should I reasonably be doing at plus two? At plus two, Leaf Storm should be an, a, an Oko. Yeah, okay. I think he's banking on Scizor being his win con, but um, I am Scarfed. If I wasn't Scarfed, I I actually win outright because of the webs, but I'm not. Uh, I do have HP Fire, which would win me the match against the Scizor, but because I am Scarfed, I might just lose to the Scizor still. Does go into the Scizor. And... It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Look, look, I'm gonna click it just so it comes off on screen, yeah. I can only click Leaf Storm right now, but... I am at plus four, so I should be doing 40-ish percent. It could just go click U-Turn. Um, U-Turn would be a roll to KO. Um, oh, that's... Alright, U-Turn probably takes me out. Um, the set that autofilled was a, uh, no, was a non-attack invested, um, max defense swords dance set, but pretty much any special attack investment should mean that, uh, I get KO'd by U-turn. So I will be able to get 40% off onto this scissor. It clicks U-turn, it, it KOs me. I go into... Jolteon, I get I get a Thunderbolt off, I KO the Infernape, and then this thing comes in, it bullet punches my Jolteon, I have to take one, and if I take it then I Thunderbolt and I win. Okay, I think I think I've mapped that out correctly in my head. I think I mapped that out correctly in my head, but uh, you have to go for U-turn right now and take me out, but I will be doing 40% and you're gonna take rocks a little bit of rocks on re-entry, and then my... My Jolteon might be in a position to win this match in the end. My Jolteon might be in a position to win this match in the end. I'm gonna take- I'm gonna get taken out because I'm Scarfed. If I just wasn't Scarfed, all I had to do is not be Scarfed. And, uh... And... I had a chance to win- Oh! I just realized... I think I lose. Because I didn't invest... Oh no, I should be okay. I should be okay, I think. Because I didn't invest a lot of speed into my Jolteon, assuming that I'd be able to get quick feet off, but I'm not gonna be quick get quick feet off right now. But I think I invested enough speed where um the webs is going to allow me to outspeed even uh, with or without quick feet. So all I have to do is take Thunderbolt. Is sorry, click Thunderbolt. Take a bullet punch, and then, and then, uh, click Thunderbolt, take a bullet punch, and then, hopefully, oh, and I'm in terrain as well. Oh, but am I going to be in terrain for another, this might be the last turn. No, I should have more turns of terrain. Ooh. Thunderbolt doesn't guarantee an Oko. Oh, but in terrain, I'm in terrain, it does. It should, it should at least. But, let's put, let's see a max attack scissor, mega scissor. Let's put a max attack mega scissor into the old calc. Is this right? Oh, it's at level 100. Okay. We should take a bullet punch. This is this is so stressful. I'm going to click Thunderbolt. This is super stressful. But by all indications, yeah. Okay, it went for another hit. We do get a Thunderbolt off. We do take it out. And that's going to be a 1-0 win for week one of the PGL. So already doing so much better than we were doing at this time. Uh, last season it took us five weeks to get a win last season and uh we are going to get uh this win during week one that is an incredible incredible 
uh, feeling this was a very good match too. Uh, I've really had fun with this match as well. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back again really, really soon. We'll be back next week. We'll be taking on uh, Crimson Seabad and his Detroit Type Nulls for week two of the PGL. And that's going to be a whole lot of fun. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching once again. And I'll be once again out.